cyclone Gabriel that swept through New Zealand from 4 to 6 February 2023. The presence of favorable rain conditions, accompanied by winds and floods in some areas. According to data, obtained as a result of Cyclone Gabriel, three people died, several more were missing. Flooding has hit parts of New Zealand, causing damage to homes and infrastructure. In some places, the water rose one meter above ground level, which was aimed at evacuating residents. Many roads and bridges were destroyed or flooded, resulting in a disruption to transport accessibility. This caused great claims to the rescue services and people who were trapped. In addition, in some regions that have already reached the flood infection, Cyclone Gabriel caused the infection of the virus. For example, in the city of Wellington, part of the airport terminal was closed, due to which many passengers were unable to take their flights. Overall Cyclone Gabriel has become one of the most dangerous natural disasters in New Zealand in recent times. This resulted in losses both financially and humanly. Despite this, the New Zealand government is taking all necessary steps to help with the crisis and recovery caused by this cyclone. Watch your feet, mate. Their bridge is going. Watch your feet. New Zealand stepped up recovery efforts on Thursday after Cyclone Gabrielle left at least five people dead and displaced 9,000. It's the country's most damaging storm in decades. Gabrielle hit New Zealand on Sunday before making its way down the east coast of the North Island. It's cut off entire towns, washed away farms and livestock, and a damaged bridge in the Hawke's Bay town of Wairoa. As authorities evacuated people, so Cyclone Gabrielle is now east of the country and continuing to track away from the North Island. However, it said severe thunderstorms and hail will hit parts of the badly affected northeast on Thursday night Multiple because of help from other countries, Hipkins said. He added that the inability of people to get in touch with family and friends was a real issue. Roughly 102,000 people remain without power.